Hi guys again, it's Andy Morgan from Total Therapy Birmingham and I'm back here again in my car. Um, it's lunchtime. Uh, the sun is shining, so not raining this time once again in the suit and tie. Um, I thought I'd give you a quick introduction to why insecurities came from, where insecurities came from. Um, but when I started to think about this, I realized that my first reference was to a site called Spirit Science, uh, which is where I've had some amazing revelations from, from their videos. And I realized over the last couple of videos, I've referenced back to Thomas Janik, to Ryan Cropper, um, who I noticed maybe my style is similar to, I don't know. Um, and I kind of ended up touching on authenticity. A lot of things I'm saying, many of you will have heard before. Many, many, for many of you, this is probably the first time you've ever heard it. Um, great. Um, many of you will have heard this before from other people. Either way, there may be the question of, of authenticity. Now, the best thing I can say is I got my ideas and I learned from other people, from Total Therapy Group and Total Therapy Training, who taught me a lot of the Chinese medicine. I, but I picked things up from, from conversations. All of my friends, my partners, my ex-girlfriends, my parents, YouTube videos, all of that I've picked up and, and learned from. So... There is no, there's no original thought. It sounds mean. Every thought that you have had has been thought up by somebody somewhere in the past. Many, many times. So you could argue, well, there's no such thing as authenticity. There is. Because I have picked this up from other people in other places and other times. But I've made it my own. So a lovely Bruce Lee quote. Accept the good reject the bad, and make it your own. Now, you'll be listening to this, and you may have listened to other videos. Um, I say Spirit Science is very good. They help me, or oh, the videos help me. Um, Ryan Copper is, is a fun one. Thomas Janik is another one. Um, John Goldman is uh, books I've read. But those are not necessarily your journey. They're just the route I've taken. You could also add in um, biology, um, soil science, uh, environmental permitting, acoustics, they're also part of me. Rugby, judo, 30 years of martial arts, they're all part of my journey. The authenticity comes back to me and me telling my story. Now, along that lines, you may also find, and as you go along, and as we go along, there probably will be discrepancies. I may even contradict myself over the course of a couple of videos. I don't script. I am quite literally, I make a few crib notes, and otherwise I just talk. So my insecurities come out. My indecisions come out, where my conflicts come out. And actually, and I, it's great because I look back over these videos and I find things to correct. So, for example, in the last video alone, I spotted three. Um, I talked about body shaming, and then went on to mention about tall fat guys. Now, that was not me body shaming all tall, fat, all tall fat guys. That was me just saying my own perception of myself was I chose to change it. Um, the other one was... Anyone who's listening to the tone of my voice, uh, I talked about not being ashamed of what I did at uni. But if you notice when I talked about sex, my voice dropped. My energy went and ran sex. And then at the end of it, I said, well, I'm not proud of it, but I'm not ashamed of it either. But if you notice, when I said I'm not proud of it, the voice rose. So there is a part of me that still isn't proud of who I was at uni. But I'm far more in balance than I ever used to be. And seeing those on the video, I will work on those more. To make myself um, more balanced. So there is a part of it that the indiscrepancies 
and uh, no, sorry, indiscrepancies, indiscretions and discrepancies. <laughs> the differences that you may notice are all part of me and my journey. That's my authenticity. So when I when we talk about finding your true self, you may contradict yourself. You may not make up your mind. The key, as we've said before, is to challenge yourself to go back and look and think, was I wrong? Was I right? Am I arguing with myself? Do I hold two points of view at the same time? Which one's true? Um, and see what you can do to balance those out. So, I am also as authentic as I can be, but where I have taken and learned from other people, I'll tell you. I'm not going to claim all this by myself. Jeez, the amount of things that I have learned, sh um, shamanism, acoustic healing, Chinese medicine, chakra healing, emotional therapy. Um, poof, there's no, everything else. There's no way I would have, could have learned all that by myself. So I will reference the people that I learned it from, and if you choose to to go to them to learn as well, great. They probably learn they learn more than me, or they know more than me, or they just have a different perspective to me. So for the, for those people possibly questioning my authenticity, you're right. You're also wrong. I am me, and I will always be me, and I will try and give the best of me that I can to you. We will go on to the source of insecurities and uh, uh, relating them to chakra. In the meantime, a great video to watch is a spirit science video on, I think it's called Chakra 1 to, one to 4. It's where I got a lot of my information from and where I built a lot of my information from. Check it out. I'll remember to put a link in the video um, in the description below. And we'll go on to that next time. I'll reference it again next time as well. Until then, I've been Andy Morgan from Total Therapy Birmingham, and I wish you all the best, and hopefully the sun is shining where you are too. I'll catch you soon.